Right now, there are more than 400,000 Australians living with dementia. Without a medical breakthrough, that number is expected to rise rapidly over the coming years. But many are finding some relief by interacting with a friendly and furry robotic bill. To talk us through the impact the Paraseal is having, I'm joined by Wendy Moyle from Griffith University. Wendy, welcome. Uh, what is the purpose of the Paraseal? The Paraseal helps people with dementia to help them communicate and also helps them engage with people. Usually with dementia people lose these skills very early on and so the, the robot um, helps them overcome those things, gives them great comfort. So Para has uh, five different sensors. How does it work and is it similar to animal therapy in okay. a sense? It is similar to animal therapy in that if you stroke Para, she gets um, excited and gives you great comfort. She opens her eyes and she, she looks at me. She has uh, microphones in her ears and so she responds to me in terms of my voice. She also has light sensor in her nose so she knows if it's uh, nighttime or daytime. She goes to sleep in the dark and awake during the day. So we use her to engage people with dementia. So as they comfort, as they comfort her, she comforts them. Wow, that is wonderful to see. Can I ask you why a seal? She's a neutral animal. So if it was a cat or a dog, um, I might find that people are uh, not happy with that sort of animal. But a seal, not many of us actually have concerns about a seal. And uh, Wendy, what have been the outcomes of your research throughout Queensland? We've just completed a study with 415 people with dementia in 28 nursing homes. And of those people, we found that they were very much comforted by the, um, the seal. They got great enjoyment from it, so pleasure, improved mood states, and also improved engagement in terms of looking at the uh, para seal and communicating with it. So in your opinion, just very quickly, is this the way of the future? Absolutely. We're going to see more and more robots in the future. We're not suggesting that they replace human activity, but they certainly will be used as an, an adjunct to human activity. Yeah, well, it is fantastic to see. Hopefully, we actually see them in more nursing and care centres throughout the state. Thank you, Wendy, thank you so much thank for your you. time.